Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Boxing Bookie. It is good to be back. Um, we're going to get into a really interesting fight today that um, is not the biggest fight and it's certainly not the easiest to bet, but we're going to look at every every fight that we can. Uh, we're going to break them all down. I've been watching Mason Cartwright footage now. He's I'm going to let you know what I think. Uh, but Samuel Antwi and Mason Cartwright uh, on September 1st, that's tomorrow, we're going to take a look at that. Um, that's on the co-main event of Lyndon Arthur versus uh, Brian Naral Suarez in a light heavyweight fight. Uh, I'm not looking at that fight because that's not intriguing to me, but this fight is it's incredibly difficult to bet. Mason Cartwright, Samuel Antwi is kind of a 50-50 fight, and I'm not liking the odds. I'm not liking the way the book made it, but before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every major fight. Um, keep us, uh, keep a tally. We're going to keep a spreadsheet to show you how much money we can make you. Uh, the Boxing Bookie, uh, bringing down the house. Uh, please also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's completely dedicated to Texas Boxing. All right, let's get into this fight. Um... Samuel Antwi and Mason Cartwright. Uh, Mason Cartwright looked so good in his last fight. Um, and, 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 and the boxing odds are, are begging you to bet Antwi, which means to me that, uh, because this is kind of a 50-50 fight, right? Both guys have ups and downs. Both guys have flaws. Both guys have pros. Um, and they're, the odds, and we're getting the odds in just a minute. The, the, the odds are so in favor of Antwi. They're begging you to put your money on Cartwright, which means Antwi's going to win, right? But again, boxing bookies don't know what they're doing. The Vegas odds makers don't know what they're doing with this fight. And it, it's, it's incredibly difficult to handicap. I'm taking Antwi. And there's two ways to bet this fight. We're going to get into both of them, right? But I'm going to officially what I'm going to pick is Samuel Antwi on points. I think it goes the distance. Um, Antwi is not what you think he is. Yeah, he's an athlete um, and he's fast. But he's in there with you. He he's really good on the inside. He needs to use his jab more. Um, he's got skills. Both guys took a massive step up fight. Both guys came up short, but both guys look good in that step up fight. You could argue both guys won. Now I wouldn't argue too hard that Cartwright beat Williamson, but he had his moments. He dropped him. He did really well. Um, and now they're fighting guys who are completely different. Um, Antwi fought uh, Equal Essamon in a really, really competitive fight. Really big competitive fight. Uh, 115, 113. It was for the uh, British welterweight title. Um, after that, uh, Essamon went on to beat Chris Congo, right? So you can see it, it's a good fight. Um, on, on the other side of that, Mason Cartwright for um, Troy Williamson. You could argue he won. He dropped him. I wouldn't argue that too hard. The fight was really close. Troy Williamson then went on and got dominated by uh, Josh Kelly. Is Troy Williamson overrated? I guess is the question, right? Um, and there's not a whole lot to watch on Cartwright. He made Larte quit. Clearly, he can punch. He's an aggressive fighter. He comes forward. He's got a tremendous gas tank. Um, there's a lot to like about Cartwright. He's floored and he's slow. He gets hit a lot on the inside. Antwi's much faster. Uh, I would try to have Antwi box him, but does Antwi have the power to keep Cartwright off of him? If he doesn't, that's okay because, really, He's not what you think he is. He's not a slickster. He's not a mover. He's on the inside sliding off shots. He's not on the back foot circling, circling. That's not what he is. Uh, so this is going to be a great fight. This is going to be a fun fight where either guy can win. 
I'm taking Antwi on points because there's just not much to watch with Carl, right? And, and, and he made Larte quit. Larte what quarter wanted to go back out after the first round, but he told him no. So obviously this guy can punish you. What I like about Anthony is he does attack the body. He's a really good body puncher. And I think he has to do that. If he doesn't get caught quickly, if he doesn't get if Cartwright doesn't get him out early, I think Antwi dominates and wins the fight later. Right? But it's a real possibility that Cartwright could get him out. I'm not gonna bet that. But it's not a bad bet. The way I'm officially going to bet this, I'm going to show you now, because I hate the odds on this. Let me pull them up for you. I'm officially taking, and, and this is the bet, I'm taking Samuel Antwi, and these odds just got even worse, um, minus 250. $100 bet pays you 140 It pays you 40 bucks, right? They're not making a whole lot of money on that. By decision, pays you 120. And I think that's your best bet. Right? I, I think that's where we can make money on this. Um, and then I'm taking over 10 and a half. To me, this is a home run. Um, I'm sorry, it's not a home run because there's two possibilities. I really think Cartwright can hit. This is a hard bet, but I'm picking Antley to win. So he's got to win by decision. So this is going to win you another 40 bucks. Um, it's not making you a ton of money. Um, on, on a $300 bet, I don't think there's any home run. I, I think the best, I, I think they're all kind of 50-50, which means the odds really aren't, if it is a really difficult fight to bet, but this is how I would bet it. The $300 bet will get you your 300 back plus another 100. The odds aren't great. I'm sorry, plus another 200, right? Yeah. 40, 80, and then 120, another $200 back. So a $300 bet, this bet, $300, it wins you the original 300 back and then an additional 200. It's not a great way to bet this fight unless, and I'm not telling you this, this is my bet. You wanted to take Cartwright. Cartwright pays almost two to one. You want to take him on the under because he's going to win by knockout. And then we're going to scroll down. Where, where can I get uh, fight lines? Draw. I'm going to look at one more thing. Let me get it. Caught right by KO. This pays a lot better. If you want to bet caught right, Bet him to knock him out because he can really hit. He's got a great tank. He's got to jump on him early. Mason Cartwright by KO pays plus 650. And I want to show this to you. What this would look like. Betting Cartwright to win wins you 190. Betting it to go under 10 and a half wins you 180. That's 370. Picking him to win by knockout or TKO wins you 650. 370, 650 wins you $1,000, $1,020 on a $300 bet. It's, this is completely reasonable. This could happen. I think there's a 49% chance that this happens. I'm it, I'm not telling you to bet this way because I think the odds are you're going to lose on this bet, but they're not so they're, they're they're stacked in your favor to win. Right? They're begging you to pick Cartwright. They are begging you to pick Cartwright by knockout, which tells me Antwi is going to win by decision. Guys, it's up to you. This is an incredibly difficult fight to pick. My official prediction is Antwi, but betting the other way, betting Cartwright to win by knockout before the end of the before 10 and a half makes a lot of sense, guys. Let me know what you guys think. I know this is not, you know, the best video I've ever done. There's no home run in this video. This is a great fight. 
It's incredibly difficult to pick a 50-50 fight, but when they stack it in one guy's favor, it might be worth the bet. I'm not telling you to bet Kara. I'm not telling you to bet at all. I don't bet. Like I said, Giraffe King isn't even, isn't even available in text. I can't bet. I haven't made a bet in years, but if you want to bring down the house, this is how you do it. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, and who are you picking to win this fight? Um, leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every fight. We're going to show you how to bring down the house and make money on every single fight. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. It is August 31st, 2023. It is my birthday. I'm officially 40 years old today. I am 40. Um, leave your thoughts, comments below. Um, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the